I'm going to answer a pretty simple question today. The question is, how do I do the colors in, in Cubase or Nuendo? For people that has uh, downloaded the modular template that I offer uh, for free, then you'll see that I have uh, these gradient colors, which is different from the default colors in, in Cubase or Nuendo. And these actually get saved with the project. So if you want to have my colors, you can just grab them from, from that project. But I'm going to show how I did it and uh, go from there. First of all, how, how do you get the gradient color names and, and files? Um, you do that, or I did that, by going to uh, one of these pages. I think I used this one, colordesigner.io. Um, which enabled me to do shades, which was what I wanted. So just to show kind of the results, this is the result. So I know that in, in my case, strings are gonna be green, the lower instruments are gonna be darker than the upper instruments. That's very nice uh, when you have lots of different tracks to kind of see what kind of instrument you have playing. So let's look at a few settings that might be different uh, different as well. Under user interface, go to track and mix console channel colors. And if you go there, I think, I believe this is the default, which means that only the side part of the track will, will light up with the color. And I've chosen to do something kind of in the middle instead, just so it's a little bit color, little, little bit more colorful and, and beautiful. You can choose to make this work on, let me open up so you can see. So we're back here now. And so you could choose to not have this apply to the folder tracks, but have it apply to the, to the um, individual tracks. If that is better for you, I like more colors. And now let me see if we can actually do it. <laughs> project color setup. Here you go. So project alt shift s is the key command. And and if you do that, you kind of get this list. Uh, they kind of removed it in Cubase 11 uh, and then Nuendo 11, obviously. The ability to name stuff. So I've named them strings one through six, brass one through six and so on, which, which is very helpful. Um, these are some of the presets. So you can you can create your own preset if you want to have the, the color set that is in this project you can go and say store this color set as default which i am going to do right now this means when i open up a new project these colors will be there by default um, again they they get saved with the project itself so if you want to build from my template and, and build your own template, then you can just do that. Um, but if you have other uses, other templates that you want to have this apply to, then new projects are going to have this color set. Projects that you've already made obviously will have um, their color saved with the project. So. Uh, you'll have to come up with another way to, to do that. Apparently, there is now also an option to select colors by name. So I am definitely going to check that. That's new for me. So now, ooh, beautiful. I can get this back. That's very, very nice. I like having a name to the color in case I forget. I, I usually don't forget these because there are not too many. Um, but there you go. This video was answered <laughs> from uh, my Discord. So if you guys want to ask me something that I'm going to make a video about, I have a uh, its own thread in, in that uh, Discord channel. And you can go there and ask your questions and I'll make videos. And that's, that's a pretty good deal. All right. See you guys next time. I don't know, that went pretty, pretty horrible, uh, I think.